Okay, our next test we're going to do, it is with the Hordendy. 180 grain tap, law enforcement military round, low flash, low recoil round, advertised 950 foot-pounds a second. I don't know what muzzle they're coming out of for that. Remember, I'm using a Glock 23 right here. Remember, don't tell anybody I have a Glock. So once again, this is going to be the Hordendy. 180 grain, product number is 91368. Let's do it. Okay, here we go with the 180 grain tap. Let's find out what happens. Let's go check it out. It looks like we went right at 19 and a quarter. Four layers of denim. Definitely got a really good ballistics channel here. I'll have to cut that apart and let you guys take a look at it here. 19 and a quarter. Let me dig this out. Okay, there's the 180 grain tap round. See 19 and a quarter penetration there. Looks like it peeled back all the way. Got pretty wicked expansion. Very good expansion, 19 and a quarter penetration, pretty deep. I'll get weights and measurements and everything in post for you guys. Okay, you guys can see here where the round entered. And then right about the inch mark, got massive expansion. See the permanent wound cavity is just huge. Measures probably right at about two and a half inches. You can see over here, all the way to over here. And then like I said, tracked on down line, massive wound cavity right there. Okay guys, another little look at here. We're at the post of the Hordendy. 40 Smith & Wesson, 180 grain tap FPD load. This is the tactical application police, which is the tap and for personal defense load that Horton D's been out with. It's been about 10, 11 years now, maybe 12. Um, as I believe this round is being discontinued, I did not see it in their 2012 catalog. I think it's gonna be replaced with the critical duty and then the critical defense is gonna be for the personal defense line. That's the only two I see in the catalog this year. This is a great round. It uses the XTP bullet and if many reloaders know or just even if you're just a regular shooter of XTP these bullets are really nice I mean I, I shoot a lot of these and 45 um, and you know I'm drawn to them with the 40 also as you can see with the results we got the results were were great we got 19 and a quarter inches penetration we got some great weight retention 179.5 you'll see that here on the screen in a second and then maximum we got was 0 .601 in expansion. Now I don't know if you guys can see but the pedals peel all the way back to the base and that happens a lot on these XTPs. It also happens a lot on the critical defense and it's probably going to be the same as the critical duty. Um, it's just the way their rounds are designed. They open quickly and they get to their their point quick in the gel. You guys can see that in the gel. It's quick open quick expansion quick deposit so we did get you know 19 and a quarters penetration which is a little deep it's probably we, we did have a lot of denim tracking in through there but you can still see I mean that's still great penetration great expansion uniform expansion even with the pedals peeling all the way back like that as you can see it's still uniform expansion like I said 0 0.601 at its max so I don't know what's going to happen with this round this year. Um, the XTP is not going anywhere. The XTP bullet itself is, is never going to go anywhere. It's way too popular. But the critical duty that I believe is going to take over this round uses the same tip that the critical defense uses. But it's a great round. Like I said, 19 and a quarter in penetration, 
179.5 on weight retention, awesome weight retention, and .601 at its max point. That's the Horton D-Tap, 40 Smith & Wesson, 180 grain.